Hey, so me and Kat are at Limville Gorge and we're going in to climb the mummy and we'll see if we got some more time to get on both the daddy and the prowl. So the mummy is a 350 foot 5'5", five five, even though the first pitch says 5'6", so not sure how that works, but should be fun. So we just passed the cutoff for the rim trail behind me here is the gully approach. Don't do it, it sucks, I've done it before. And then over there through the trees it's hard to see is the mummy and the daddy and then this is the top of the prowl. So we're gonna ditch gear here because we're gonna finish on the prowl and then we'll pick up all our bags and then hike out. Yeah, so down there is the trail to the prowl that goes back up to the quartz block. And then, ooh, here's the rim trail that you should follow. And you come in and you gotta hop over this boulder. You come around and you gotta down climb this. And then once you do all that, the top of the mummy and the daddy's right there and there's a gully with some bolts you can wrap off down there. So once you do the down climb and you come around this boulder here, go a little bit further. And you'll top out the mummy and the daddy up there. But to get to the base of the routes, without doing the heinous gully approach. Go down this, I guess, alternate gully. And once you go down about 100 feet, there'll be two bolts you can wrap off of to get to the bottom of it. So at this point, I like to leave, stash anything I don't need for the route up here because we gotta pass it to get back. And then we'll make our way down the gully. What you putting in the end, Catherine? Not. Even though it's a single pitch repel? Yeah. yeah. Always put a knot in the end. Rope! See you at the bottom, Catherine! Yeah. Ow. And get the rope right there. Yay, rope down. All right, Catherine's starting the first pitch of the mummy. Woo! And then we got a party above us up there. Got your first piece. Yay! I'll take up some slack. All right, you're on boy. There she is, running it out. You know, it might be easier going up that face. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is a little challenging. The pro seems better though. Yeah, cause you, yeah, you pretty much didn't have anything off of that ledge to here, right? No. Yeah, that's a good ways. My hands are so cold, they don't want to work. Hello. Are oh, you good? All right, Catherine has started the second pitch of the mummy. We got our anchor built here. And I'm gonna just chill and relax while she leads it. It's a nice, easy day of following for me. And then we got two guys over there getting ready to go up the prow, which is pretty cool. Cat, that is me! All right, she said I'm on belay. Take that off, clean this anchor up.
You can see she was pretty confident she ran it out between the gear. What's up? Oh. This slab's not as bad as I remember it being. I remember getting up here and being real spooked on this. It's pretty chill. That's your favorite. Better belay here than the last one. Hey! Good job! One pitch to go. It ends up when I don't have to sit all the gear, I don't feel as bad. I know. And it, well, you're always good until like the gear gets even remotely tricky. And the gear was tricky on that, and I dealt with it by just not putting any in. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Okay. Well, yeah, it just kind of goes up here and then up that face. A lot more of what this last bit was. You excited for it? Yeah, it looks solid. You happy with it? I think it looks good. I'm a lot happier with this one. Good. Alright. Have fun. Try to place a piece occasionally. At least like two. At least two. You can do that, can't you? <laughs> no. Maybe. I don't know. Do what you're comfortable with. It's pretty low angle. Those guys are still working on that pitch. Cat, that is me! Cat, I'm climbing! We forgot the Rocky Talkies this trip. I miss them already. Oh. All right, we have gotten through the crux. I gotta get through this pitch and then we got one more after this pitch. Alright, there we go. Gonna run up this thing, hopefully. Especially being on top rope. Need to move, I've been getting cold. Cold, cold, cold. How was that? I like that. You led the whole thing. How'd it feel? Fine. Uh, no, uh, the first pitch is scary, but the other two are fine. Yeah, the first one's a little steep. Um, I think we can do the daddy. All right, so we topped out the mummy here. We're gonna scramble over this rock and go collect our things. Trying to decide if we want to do the prow or the, the deity. So I don't think we have time for both. So Cat got us up the mummy and I'm going to take us up the daddy. We're running low on time and light so we're going to try to do it in two pitches. Let's see how it goes. Trees on. That's a little tricky here. I wonder if I should have gone the other way. Yeah, I think I messed up. Yeah, I should have gone up that. Are you okay coming up this? Okay, I'm sorry.
There's the sun getting ready to set. Go over here. Should extend that a little bit more. Rope drag, rope drag. Heinous, heinous, heinous rope drag. How's it going? Good. You enjoying it? Good. Ooh. Oh, tree right there. I'm trying to get this one done fast. Get off Bully! That was a discussion we had. You didn't want to carry down everything. Well, I can say a 70 meter reaches the big, big ledge in one go from the ground. I had like 10 feet of slack left. I ran it out fast. Uh, I went fast, I ran it out a bit, trying to get this pitch done, or this climb done. Hopefully we'll have time to do the prowl, maybe not. But I'm pushing, I'm trying to make sure we get it because I know Kat wants to do it. I'll see how she feels when she gets up here. Woohoo! Yeah, here's the, here's the big ledge I'm talking about. Like I said, a 70 meter reaches with like 10 feet of slack. You just uh, got to make sure to extend. I messed up one piece and had some rope drag for the last like... 70 feet. I wish I extended it a little bit better, but oh well. I'm up here now. So the next pitch starts on top of those blocks in front of you.
You want me to stop here? Okay. All right, there we go, I'm safe. Ooh, it was good until I looked back at Cat and realized how thrown out I really was. <laughs> he did not like that. Did I look? Like looking down and seeing a lot of run out. Oh no, 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 I'm going the wrong way. I gotta backtrack. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna run this to the top. Cam got stuck. <clears throat> All right. Oh, let's just get back over here. Keep us safe. Keep us off the deck down there. Come on. And we're at the top. I'm tied in. Cat's getting ready to climb. I just finished the pitch, so we did the daddy in two pitches. 70 meter got us to the big ledge with no slack to spare. She said she was getting ready to start simul climbing, but right when she was getting, right when she started simul climbing, I, I built the anchor. Climb on! <clears throat> and then the second pitch. We get from the big ledge to here. So I'm not convinced that's a 500 foot route. It's a good corner though, isn't it? Uh, it's still good to practice things like directionals and stuff just in case catastrophic but yeah i mean like a, uh, I like break. yeah especially but it, here i mean it's one thing like fucking looking glass where there's just like nothing to break off but like there's a lot of, there's a lot of loose blocks in what she flakes there is yeah i mean that's really the biggest reason i put directionals in on some of these like easy climbs here that we do is not because i think you're gonna fall just in case like something breaks Salt and catastrophic. Okay. Good job. Mm -hmm. Well, the sun is set. And we didn't want to go back up this way. But...